Oh my god! Hello? And Cortez had beat you down. Like, what are you doing? What? I am so confused. <laughs> and first of all, why did y'all put Cortez over here by two people he. Well, one person he don't like. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, hello, of course. My name is Chunky the Gamer. Or you can call me Jay, whatever you Hold on, let me rephrase that. My name is Chunky the Gamer. Or you can call me Jay. There we go. Whatever you're feeling that day. But if you're OG Bobby Josh Stuck, this is for she's an E Gizzle, my nizzle. What is up, my Chunky babies? And welcome back to Bad Boys Club. Y'all, I have been. Super excited to post Bad Girls and Bad Boys Club because I got so much that is about to happen. Like y'all, I'm about to take y'all on a journey. I'm about to take y'all on a on a on a, on the road, road, road. Okay, like it's about to be like that. So without further ado, you guys, because I ain't gonna hold y'all longer. Let's go ahead and get into the LP. Eat your duvet. So as y'all can see, the guys are just kind of sitting here. Um. It's just been, you know, okay, so let me tell y'all. So while I was playing in here to make them prepare for me to come in here, um, Cortez and Messiah settled their differences. They are no longer enemies anymore. Um, they, you know, they just don't fool with each other no more. And then, you know, that's that's perfectly fine. You know, no, no harm or no issues about it. So, you know, it's just like that. So... At the end of the day, I don't have no beef with, you know, Messiah anymore. I mean, we fought. We did what we had to do. At the end of the day, it is what it is. I just don't, you know, have no dealings with him. He stay in his own lane and shoot. I'm going to just stay in mine. We're just going to leave it like that. We're not tripping about it no more. You know, Cortez not tripping about it. He just like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you just stay in your lane and I'm going to stay in mine. So we're just going to call it like that. So, what's going to happen today is um, we have to go to meet up with a celebrity, you guys. I'm so excited that y'all are going to meet her. So, I got a special surprise for the guys. Um, I got a call from someone that's really dear to my heart. I love them so much. They support me and my craft and everything that I do. So, she called me up and was like, hey, I need you to pull up. We need to talk about some stuff. So I'm like, okay, like, you want me to pull up since I'm on the way? So I'm actually about to leave the house, and I'm going to let the boys, you know, mingle or do what they want to do, sleep in and stuff. And I'm about to go network with my good sis so we can see what we can do to get these boys, you know, up to the next level. Um, Koi is actually going to go over there and speak with her while um the guys stay at home because... You know, they just, uh, she doesn't want to go over there with them. She wants to go on her own, which, you know, is going to be a one-on-one -on -one meeting because she, you know, she's, she, she knows who this is. Like, she's really close to this person and, you know, she just want to have a one-on-one -on -one with her because we're supposed to be doing something really 
extravagant with her. So, of course, we need to go pull up on her. You feel me? So, we're going to, if y'all haven't guessed yet, I'm like, y'all, I bet y'all like, who are we going to see? We're going to see Meg the Stallion, you guys. She is at home. We about to go over there and check with her and, you know, speak with her and stuff like that. And I'm going to see you guys once we get to Meg the Stallion's house. So, y'all, we made it to Meg's house. She lives in Newcrest. So, as y'all can see, we are at Megan Thee Stallion's house. This is the girl, of course, that's been rocking with me since I started my music. I love the girl so much. Like, she means everything to me. That's literally, like, my best friend. I could really just call her, you know, when I can. But, you know, we be so booked and busy, especially her. So, I don't really hear from her as much. But, you know, when I hear from her, it's always a good time. But she called me and was like, I need you to pull up. I need to talk business with you. So, I'm here, sis, so what's up? Um, this is her home, y'all. When I say her home, it's freaking beautiful. Um, this is where she is located right now. Koi's about to come knock on the door because, of course, Meg did tell her to come over. She's just like, hey, you know, they had a conversation about her doing Bad Boys Club and her, you know, basically being the host over, and she was just like, come see me. Like, I want to talk, so... We here. Okay, y'all, so we are at Miss Meg the Stallion's house. She is actually outside, y'all. I handcrafted this woman. The only thing I use that is from K... Uh, I always say her name wrong, but I'm going to put her... Um, I'm going to put her name, like, up here somewhere, or down here somewhere. But I got her skin, and then I just kind of handcrafted her from there. But this is my version of how Meg the Stallion is supposed to look, you guys. And I just feel like she is, like, really, 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 really pretty. Like, she looks good. So we're about to come in here, and we're about to come and check on Meg. Like, girl, what's been going on? Are you coming up? Oh, dang, she got up here quick. So, yeah, we're about to come up here. We're about to talk to Meg and just, you know, check on her, see what's going on. Y'all know that's a tall stallion oh, right there. Uh, she's boy. like, hey, Meg. And Meg's like, hey, what's going <laughs> on, baby? She's like, girl, nothing much. She's so good to see you. Well, I haven't I seen know. you in forever. And she's just oh, like, girl, yeah. you know, I've been booked and busy, you know, money calls, bullish bush walks, you know. Like, I, you know, I've just been chilling. What's been going on with you? She's just like, girl, you know, last time we talked, I was letting you know that, you know, I'm over the Bad Boys Club. And she's just like, girl, how is that? She's like, you know, it's good. Like, you know, the only problem I've been having is with one of these dudes, you know, he just feel like, you know, he could talk to me any kind of way. And she's just like, girl, that's crazy. And she's like, I'm serious, girl. Like, he just feel like he could do whatever he want. She's like, girl, I just got done doing the hotties. And she was like, oh, yeah, I remember. Like, I saw you being the host of that, you and Cardi. She's like, yeah, girl. Them girls is crazy. Like, I bet they not as, you know, I bet the boys are not as crazy as that. She's like, mm, you'll be surprised. So she's just like, so what I called you over here for is, hold on, y'all. So she's just like, what I called you over here for is, um, I want to do like a uh, performance uh, showcasing thing. Um, I want you to bring your boys. And she's just like, wait, are you serious? She's like, uh, for sure. Like, I want you to bring your dudes. I want to see, you know, the talent. Um, I really want to see what they about. And she's just like, girl, I haven't even did nothing with them yet. She's like, I know, but I know, you know, I did my research on what's going on or whatever. And I see you got Kaysen in there. She's like, yeah, I do. She's like, yeah. I feel like if you really, you know, get to work with them, bring them to the studio, bring them to certain places, you know, I feel like they'll do a good job up there. She's like, I don't know about that, Meg. She's like, come on, think about it. Hear me out. So she wants me to bring the boys. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do all that. Only because I don't know how they're going to act. Don't get me wrong. I mean... Half of them are pretty decent, but it's just the other half. I don't know. Like, Megan, you asking a lot out of me. Like, it's like taking kids to, like, a zoo or something or taking the kids to the aquarium. I got, like, seven kids with me. I don't know how they're going to act. They already act crazy in public, so, girl, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. 
She's like, look, Zeke if you bring them to the different, you know, radio stations or bring them to the meet different oh, artists, look. you never know what might can happen, Coy. Like, like, don't, you know, don't give up on them. Right. I feel like they got a lot of potential. And she's just like, you know, I, I see it, but I don't know for sure. She's like, look, hit me out. I feel like you should do it. I feel like it'll really be a good thing for them to not only meet, you know, people, but, you know, to, you know, really get in touch with these, you know, these people, like, the artists, different artists, you never know, somebody might, you know, catch on to them, and, you know, what's happening, oh, she said, you never know, somebody might, you know, sign them or something, she's like, yeah, you know, right, and she's like, you know, pretty Ricky gonna be there, too, she's like, wait, Pretty Ricky? She's like, girl, yeah, you know I had to invite them. I got Pleasure Peace personal number. And I asked them if they could come out of retirement one good time. And, you know, show up one time for the one time. She's just like, oh, my God, yes, for real. She's like, yeah, we got them. You know, I didn't invite Meg. I mean, not Meg. She is Meg. She's like, I invited Cardi. Um, Nikki said she's going to try to come. You know, she's been, you know, occupied with her baby. She's like, oh, yeah, I heard she had some baby. She's like, yeah, girl. But um, come on in. She's like, come on in, girl. Like, let's talk a little bit more in my uh, office. So, of course, it's like, okay, in your office. So, child, she wants them to perform. You know what? I can, you know what? She got me doing a task. That's fine. I can definitely do it. I can put them up to the challenge. I know that definitely Cortez and Kaysen will be able to do something like that. I don't know about the others because half of them still didn't tell me what they want to do. So, you know, I'm going to see what I can do today. Girl, where's your office? Hello? Period! So, she about to come and sit while, uh, you know, they talk more about it because, you know, Meg then sparked Koi's interest because, you know, she... She's down to do it. Like, she's like, okay, this would be a good opportunity for the guys. And, you know, I feel like they could do it, but I don't know if, you know, I'm ready for them to do it. That's how she's feeling. So, so Koi's just like, so what I need to do? She's just like, look, it ain't going to be no time soon, so just give it a moment. I'm going to, you know, text you and let you know when we're doing it, but we are rehearsing. It's like, it ain't around the corner, but it's around the corner. She's just like, okay, so I don't really have a lot of rappers and singers, but, you know, I got one who want to be a radio talk show host. I got one who wants to be a rapper. I have another one who wants to be a singer. I, want, I have another one who make beats, and the other ones don't know what they want to do. She's just like, that's fine, and I can use them all all at the thing um how about this meg's like look i'm having meg where are you going she's like look i'm having this um hello there we go she's like look i'm having rehearsals today how about uh y'all all Lobo. come Flat she's like Pelta. for real she's Flat like yeah bar, i'm having rehearsals today and yeah. i want y'all to come Woo. and look at <laughs> what we're doing and she's just like okay i'm down for that she's like yeah I want to meet the boys, too, while we there. So, you know, not... call me when you're on your way. And, you know, <laughs> I'll be there already. Now but just let me know when you get that. there so I can let them know to let you in. Bruh, She's like, okay, that's a bet. <laughs> so, <laughs> Meg's just like, I'm excited. I feel Actually. like they'll, you know. So, after talking to Meg, I'm going to go home. And I'm going to grab Cortez, Kaysen. I'm also going to grab uh, Byron and Cody. Only because I know Cody wants to be a part of production. So, of course, I'm going to get him so he can watch me as I work. He can also help me, too. And also with Byron, with him knowing, you know, he wants to do beats and do instrumentals. That's going to be a good thing. So, we're going to make this a project. I'm not bringing nobody else. I mean, hopefully they don't feel any type of way. But, you know, it is what it is. So, you... That show that full potential. She just like you just don't understand how grateful I am for you, Meg. Like seriously, like I appreciate this. She just like girl, no problem. You're doing great things. Like I'm proud that you're really taking the time to really get these boys to you know show their talent and get out there. She's just like, of course, I'm glad they chose me to do it. So she's just like, I'm about to go. I'm about to go back home, check on the boys, let them know the great news. And, you know, just tell them what's going on. And then, you know, I'll see you later on. She's just like, yeah, for sure. Um, Just go tell them, get dressed and everything, and I'll see you later on. It's going to be late tonight, though. She's just like, all right, Meg, I'm about to go. So 
she's about to go home and you know Koi's really excited about this because she's just like this is a great opportunity for us to just really you know for me to get these boys out there for their names to be well known out here and then Meg is actually introducing you know y'all on stage and putting y'all in the front light like this is really exciting not only for her but Casey and Cortez and you know also if Byron wants to make the beats like you know it, this will really put them on the map and stuff so I feel like this would be a good opportunity for Casey and Cortez also Byron and Cody because it will like showcase a lot of things and you know we'll be able to tell and let them know okay you know Cody produced this you know, Byron did this, and, you know, you have the singer and the rapper. So, I feel like it'll be good. So, I can't wait to go home and share the good news. She's about to go home and tell them the good news. And, you know, just really, you know, get them hyped up. And we're going to see what's going to happen. They got a couple things to work on. And just see Megan in her element. So, she about to go home, y'all, and tell them what's going on. So, I'm going to see y'all when she get there. Okay, y'all. So, Koi is back. And she's about to come up in here and... She's going to have a meeting with some of the guys. Uh, I want to say, oh, they ain't know what to be found. So I hear Koi come in and I can hear her just screaming. And she's just like, boys, get yourselves together. We're about to go out to eat. Um, We never had this treatment before. We've been in the house for a minute. So I wonder what's the big news. Um, Matter of fact, she's about to, we're about to go out to eat. We're about to, she's about to invite them out. And she's just like, hey, boys, I want y'all to get dressed. Um, matter of fact, we can invite Meg so she can kind of tell them what's going on about, oh, we can't, oh, shoot. Okay, well. Well, look, I'm just chilling, and I hear Koi talking about, hey, fellas, y'all need to go ahead and get dressed. We about to go out to eat. And I'm like, girl, as much as the cooking we do up in here, you want to take us out to eat? Y'all know me, but Kayla to eat, okay? So when she said that, I immediately went to go take a shower. I went to go brush my teeth. You know, I went to go put some cologne on. Like, shoot, where we going? <laughs> Never mind. So we ain't going to invite Meg, but um, she's going to go ahead and tell them, you know, hey, y'all get yourselves together. We're about to go out and get some food, and I just need to let y'all know what's going on. Because, you know, it's it's some good things that's about to happen. So, uh, we are about to go to a restaurant. So, I'm trying to see what restaurant I have up on here that we can go wine and dine eat. No, that's something fancy, but... I'm going to see y'all when we get to the restaurant because I got to look for it. Okay, y'all. So, we are at this um, sushi restaurant. She's about to go ahead and... Uh, request a table, of course. Um, she's going to, you know, get them together because we got to have a big discussion about all this because... I feel like it was appropriate to bring the boys out to eat to tell them the good news because, you know, we... Instead of, like, being in the house so much, let's, let's go out to eat. Let's go celebrate because this is something big for y'all. Some of y'all. Not all of y'all, but this is something big for y'all. So, let's go ahead and let's celebrate. It is a lot that we have to, you know, talk about because Meg, with Megan dropping this on her, she's just, like, really ecstatic because it's just like, girl, you really want us? Like, you want my boys to, you know, come, like, perform? Like, that's what you're telling me right now. Like, she's super excited. So, Koi's about to come and get a table. Who is this? That's Geneva. Girl. Okay. Are you pregnant? Oh, wow! I'm nosy, y'all. So, Koi's getting a table for everybody. And we're just about to have a conversation. Because she wants to let it... What happened? Hello? Hello? What is going on? I'm a little confused. Oh, okay. So... Everybody's coming downstairs. Uh, different people are going to be sitting at different tables, of course. So, she's about to come sit down. She's about to, okay, so. We're about to order for the table. Okay, yeah, so. 
So Koi invites us to go out to eat to get some sushi. And she sounds really excited. It's a lot of, you know, pep in her step, a lot of excitement in her voice. And I just really want to know what's going on. Like, why are you so excited? Whatever news she has, I know that it's going to benefit us. So I'm ready, girl. You need to tell us now. They're all at different tables. They could kind of hear her from the distance or whatever, but it's, it's just like, you know, she's about to let them know what's going on. Uh, so let me order their drinks real quick, and I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, y'all, so they just ordered their food, and, you know, Koi is about to let them know the big news of what's about to happen. So where are you going? Oh, she's about to use the restroom. So she's going to use the restroom, and the guys are just talking. Cody's just like, okay, she just took us out to eat. I want to know what's going on. So Ricky's just like, I don't know. It just seems like it's about to be some good stuff going on. Because she seemed really excited. He's like, I know. He's like, I wonder what's going on. He's like, I don't know. Hopefully, you know, something big's about to happen. Because I feel like we need something fresh and new in the house, you know? So as they're talking, the guys are just about to, you know. What is going on? Oh, my God. Hello? And Cortez had beat you down. Like, what are you doing? What? I am so confused. Child, I'm sitting here waiting on Cortez to tell us what's going on. And I look up and some random stranger want to fight me. Like, Sigga, what you got going on? And then after that, he want to shake my hand like everything cool. Sigga, you better leave me alone. Uh-uh. I'm ready to go from this restaurant already. I can tell it's about to be some bad energy. Like, come on, Corey, hurry up so we could go. <laughs> and first of all, why did y'all put Cortez over here by two people he... Well, one person he don't like. I'm so confused, but it's whatever. Y'all just did what y'all wanted to do. That's crazy. But anyway, so he's about to sit down there. What the? I'm sorry. And Messiah, you better win. Messiah, why are y'all fighting? Look at Ricky. I bet Ricky like, finally, somebody needs to beat you now. What is going on? Hello? 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 Thank you. Okay, everybody needs to sit down because... Now, karma, now karma is a sitch, y'all. Because I promise you, I was just laughing, saying, Hi, Cortez, you up in here fighting. And then I turn around, and this random sitch, sad sicker. I mean, you just, you want to fight me for what? I ain't even do nothing. See, but you know, kar karma is sit. So, now nah, I really can't be mad. I am sick of this. Anyways, so where is Koi? Hello? So, why is there so much fighting in here? Hello? Okay. So she's just about to come over here and tell whoever's listening at this point. So she's about to walk over here and talk to Cortez and them because they are, you know, at a different table. So he's about to sit down, sit down and chat. So she's just like, hey, I just want to let y'all, you better not, man. Girl, Amber. Child, this restaurant is so dysfunctional and disorganized. Why the waitress brought the food to the table and she dropped it? Oh, big nasty says, like, girl, what is you doing? They don't need to hire you no more. You need to go ahead and go do something else. I heard the strip club hiring, but they probably ain't gonna hire you either, girl. Anyways, so she's just like, hey, I'm letting y'all know that we had got invited by Megan Thee Stallion tonight to go look at her, you know, do rehearsals. And he's just like, wait, are you serious? She's just like, yeah. So we get to see them rehearse and stuff, you know, just see the ropes. But he's just like, okay, so what are we seeing that for? She's like, so we got invited to perform at a event she's doing. Cortez is like, are you serious? And he's just like, wait, you're lying to me. She's like, no, all the big celebrities are going to be there. We got Pretty Ricky. We got Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Meg, of course. He's just like, you're lying to me. She's like, why would I lie to you, Cortez? I'm a little confused. Like, I am extremely excited because we performing in front of who? We performing in front of a whole bunch of people. And then we're opening up for these big celebrities, especially Nicki Minaj. And tonight we meet Meg the Stallion? Y'all for real? 
yeah, Koi, mm-hmm, you really did it with this one. I like it now. You know, calm down. I know you're excited to hear this, but you ain't got to be like that. And so, Messiah is just like, there you go, Cortez. Me and Cortez. And Cortez is like, now nah, I know we said a lot of differences, Messiah, but please don't start with me. Like, I would really have to beat you up in here. He's like, gosh, I'm just playing with you. God dang. And he's just like, I'm being for real. Like, leave me alone. Like, do I look dumb to you? Like, leave me alone. So she's just like, yeah, we got invited. And y'all are going to perform. So Cortez, I got to get you encased it in the booth ASAP. And, you know, Cortez is excited. He's just like, I can't believe it. Like, I'm really going to be in the booth. Like, I'm I'm happy. So I feel like this would be a good opportunity for Cortez and Casey. Like, I really feel that, you know, they would actually enjoy it. Like, don't get me wrong, they got the talent, but you know, I don't know. But I mean I'm happy for them, I guess. And Coy's over here and you know, they're asking like, Okay, so what were you talking about when you went over there? So, you know, she's letting them know she's like so we got invited by Meg Thee Stallion herself to not only watch her rehearse tonight, but we are also going to perform at her event. And Casey's is just like, wait, are you serious? And he's just like, yeah. Wait. And no. So wait, Casey's is like, are you serious? And Corey's like, of course I'm serious. So I got to get some one-on-one time with you and Cortez. And... You know, if you want to be the producer of this or watch me do it, you know, Cody, you can. And Cody's just like, for sure. She's like, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, talk with um, Byron because I know he makes beats and instrumentals. So we can definitely talk to him about that. This is exciting, y'all. I'm really happy about this. Like, we about to perform in front of a whole bunch of people. I mean, I got the jitters, don't get me wrong. But it's just like, shoot, let's go ahead and get this. Like, this is something I've been waiting on. I'm really excited. Then we about to meet Meg in a few. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for this right here. You know, I just really cannot wait because this is going to be a good experience. Ricky's like, are you serious? She's like, yeah, and you can interview people while you're there to kind of, you know, get the ropes and stuff like that. And so they're excited. They're just like, Cora, you're really doing it. She's like, for sure. I told you how I was going to do this. So, you know, y'all eat y'all food. Y'all relax. Like, we got, you know, we got to go meet with her in a few. Koi, I am ecstatic about this. I know Kaysen is going to blow. I know he's going to do so good. And then Cortez, I mean, he has a lot more work to do, but I know he's going to ace this. I'm really excited for what's about to happen for them. Like, this is extremely exciting. So, they are excited. Cody's just like, this is going to be a good opportunity. So, dang, Byron, you ate that quick. So, Cortez is just like, I can't believe that I'm going to be performing. And so, Messiah's just like, you think you ready for that? And he's like, of course. Like, Messiah, why would you ask me something like that? He said, oh, I just, you know, want to ask a question. I mean, it ain't nothing serious. Like... God damn, why would you do that at a restaurant? What is wrong with you? No, don't do that. Chase, you're about to piss me off. He coming up in here to watch some Sorn. Like, what is wrong with you? Who fighting, hello? Y'all are so aggy at this restaurant. I don't know what Chase has going on, but Chase is such a perv, like, I bullcrap you not. We were just sitting there and he had like a big bulge in his pants. And I'm just like, um, maybe he just, you know, has to go use the restroom. And then you can hear Messiah yelling at him talking about, boy, you need to sit down. Why are you going to watch Soren in these people place? Like, what are you doing? Like, come on, Chase. Like this, this is embarrassing. Y'all are so aggy at this restaurant. We about to go. We are about to go because I am getting aggravated. We hungry. People are trying to eat and y'all sitting up in here fighting. Like, Cortez, Cortez is like, I'm kind of ready to go now because if y'all going to be up in here fighting like this, then it's time for us to go. So they're enjoying the rest of their food. They're excited. We about to go to um, the stadium where they're going to be performing at. 
I told y'all, there's something wrong with this restaurant. These people in here is crazy. They disrespectful. They're nasty. They're disgusting. They're dropping all the plates and stuff. People digging and rummaging through the trash. Like, are we in the slums? Or, like, we underneath the bridge or something? Like, y'all don't need to be doing all this in this nice restaurant. Like, this don't make no sense at all. And just kind of get an insight of what's going on. They're going to actually... Yeah meet Meg the Stallion. They're going to be able to see her, you know, have a conversation with her and stuff like that. Y'all, I am so excited. So, Corey's about to go ahead and pay for the bill. And we are who? Girl, who? Who was that you was about to talk to? Hello? Somebody had popped up. Okay, so we are about to go to the stadium, you guys. So, he is so excited. So, we're about to go. She's calling the limo. She's just like, hey, we're ready. Please come pick us up because we got to be there because, you know, Meg said this is going to be a... Who fighting now? Please, let's go. Who cares about them fighting? So, Meg texts me, and she's just like, hey, are you on your way? And I'm like, for sure. We're on our way now. We're just getting done eating. And she's just like, cool, 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 cool. Uh, we've been rehearsing for a little bit, but I just want y'all to see what we got so far. And I'm like, cool, okay, we're on our way. So, we're about to leave from this restaurant. We're about to go and literally sit amongst Meg. Well, I mean, that's my best friend. But they're about to sit amongst her and her backup dancers. Um, She has the whole arena closed out for her. Um, different celebrities do that for like each night they have to come. So probably next time we'll probably go and watch like Chris Brown or somebody. But Meg personally was like, yeah, come see me in my, you know, rehearsal. So that's where we're going. Why are you rummaging through the trash? Hello? Please let's go. Cause Nodding got a real accurate. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to see you guys once we get there because this restaurant, it's every time I come here, somebody fighting. Like, God dang. So, anyways, I'm going to see y'all once we get to the restaurant because I have fed the fork up. Okay, y'all, so we are sand setting. We are here at the um at the concert hall, you guys. Um, ooh, I did not put the wall up for y'all to see. Hold up. So here we go. This is the concert hall, y'all. Let me back up a little bit, y'all. It is huge. Like, filled with a lot of opportunities up in here. The guys are standing out here, and they are, like, literally in shock. Koi did not already came down here. Koi about to get her a drink. But she, um... She's like, okay, I'm here, Meg. Where are you? And she's just like, hey, come to the main area. That's where I'm at. And as y'all can see, the girls are in here. No, Messiah. No, 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 no. Don't leave. So the girls are already in here. So they about to come up in here and sit together and kind of look. She just texted them and was like, hey, y'all need to go up in there and look. Um, the Meg's already there. Um, they are, you know, basically performing right now. Y'all need to get in here immediately while they rehearse. Y'all, they look so freaking good, y'all. What the heck? Like, as soon as we walked in, y'all, I felt so in love. Like, man, look at all these chairs. Look at all these. Look how big this is. Like, we come and perform here? Like, y'all gotta be kidding me. We're coming here to perform. Matter of fact, not perform. We're opening up for all these amazing people. Like, come on. Like, I'm gonna have, I haven't did Nikki's hair in a minute. So, if she's gonna be here, oh, I know I'm about to be booked and busy. I know I'm about to be all over the place. And just to see Meg here, she lit up as soon as she saw me. So, I know I'm about to hear a conversation about me doing her hair. So, man, I'm ready for this. Like, for real. They are up in here performing. Y'all will see that in the next clip after uh, one of the confessionals. Y'all, they look good. So this is how I was looking in here. They're really excited because they get to see Megan go to work, basically. First of all, it is so beautiful in here. Like, the orange lights, the chairs, and then you see Megan the Stallion up there. She's so beautiful, you guys. Oh my God, like her backup dancers are just so gorgeous. And it's just, I'm I'm excited for this. Like, 
I'm ready. I got my pen and paper ready. Like, I'm ready to take notes. She got her backup dancers. Of course, y'all know who this is. This is Lucille. This is Aliza. Aliza is one of her backup dancers. I got her from uh, Rihanna Sims. And then, of course, you know, even though she's in the Bad Girls Club, Megan had to call her. This is one of her gigs, you know, because Anaja is a social media person. So, Meg already know about Anaja. So, she was like, yeah, I need to call my girl up because, yeah, what are you doing? I ain't gonna lie to you. The ladies look good up there, especially Meg. Like, I'm excited. Like, <laughs> we, I'm making beats to, like, have it performed here. Oh, man. Like, I can only imagine what celebrities can walk up to me and tell me they want me to make instrumentals. This is exciting, dog. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they're sitting there watching. They're just like, okay, what is going on? Not Messiah looking, my God. He's horrible already. So Casey is like really in shock of what's going on. And they just really about to sit here and watch them perform. Like, I'm extremely excited. So as soon as we get here, Meg face like lights up and she stops what she's doing and she's just like, okay, girls, we're going to have to run this again because now we have an audience. So remember what was taught you know, we're just going to give them, like, a little preview, or we could just run through the whole thing. I'm like, y'all ain't even got to run through the whole thing. Like, show us what y'all got. And let me tell you something about Meg. She executed that, like, oh, my gosh, I cannot wait for this event because she killed it. <laughs> the performance and they just really talking about it messiah sees somebody he likes so of course he about to come up here and give a friendly introduction um casey sees one of the bad girls and you know he about to come talk to her hold on because all y'all moving all at once i mean it ain't me if i ain't got a little nasty like that one in the back with the curly hair i mean all of them beautiful but the one with the black curly hair Man, let me tell you, man, that thing was banging, man. Like, she looked good. I'm about to definitely go up there and talk to her. Cause, but yeah, she she looks real. She look she looked real lickable. So yeah, they about to come and he's just like, is that Lucille from Hotties? Like, you know what is going on? So Meg is about to come down here and talk to them. She's just like, hey, are you one of the guys from um? from bad boys club and cortez is like wait you're talking to me she's just like yeah what's up baby and he's just like hey how you doing she's just like i'm good so love <laughs> like what about you he's just like i'm good she's like yeah um i was letting you know coy know sure. that you know i want y'all to perform <laughs> what is going on why did it go to him and so coy's just like what did i miss i had to go get me something to drink She's just like, oh, um, I just came down here to, uh, I just was down here. They were watching me perform, but I just came down here to talk to him and let him know, like, you know, we're here to, that y'all were here to watch, and basically they're performing. And so Coy was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Ma'am. Oh, wow. Coy, uh, why would you come here smelling like that? <laughs> okay, I might have been a little tart, but don't get me wrong. I've been working all day. Like, y'all not about to sit here and judge me. 
if it was y'all and y'all was smelling funky, I mean, I wouldn't have said nothing because you might have worked hard today. I know I worked hard. I've been out and about. I've been getting these boys together. So, excuse me that I smell weird, okay? Just excuse me. I'm going to handle that when I get home. But y'all not about to sit here and judge me. Okay, the smell should go away now. The smell should go away. Anyway, so make it just letting them know, y'all. Sorry, I had to uh, walk away. My nephew, I mean, not my nephew. Sorry, y'all. I had to walk away. My little brother was knocking on the window and he scared the living crap out of me. But anyway, she's just talking to them and she's just letting them know, like, hey, y'all need to get in the studio Yay. ASAP. Like, I need y'all to come and bring y'all A game because we got a lot of people, you know, coming in, you know, watch y'all perform. It's not only going to be y'all. But it's going to be Boy, Pretty Ricky, Corey, I got you down to perform. Uh, Chris Brown's going to be here. We got, you know, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. We got <laughs> Chloe and Hallie. Like, we got a lot of people coming. So, y'all need to bring y'all A game. Saucy said he was going to try to make it with, you know, JT and Carisha. We got a lot of people coming. So, I need y'all to be on y'all A game. And so, Cortez is, like, really excited. I'm so excited that Megan is doing this event. Um, she haven't came up with the name of it. Y'all know Megan, she's really indecisive when it comes to stuff. And she's really, like, all over the place. So, of course, she did ask me, you know, through text if I can help her. And, you know, I'm down to help her and everything. So, we're gonna, you know, work on the name and stuff. And she got some big headliners up. Like, she got Ashanti, Pretty Ricky, all them people. I mean, I'm just not really... I hope she didn't invite Krishan. That's just... Uh, I don't want to talk about it, but I just hope she didn't. When I say I am extremely excited that Meg Thee Stallion, like, really asked us to perform, like, I don't know. Like, I'm going to have to, I might sing on the mic. I'm going to have to practice on my voice. Uh, hold on. Me, 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 me. Moo, 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 Yeah. I can't wait to go to record because I think I sound pretty good. Um, She's like, okay, so where's Kaysen? And so, you know, where is Kaysen? Kaysen's up here. So, you know, she's telling her, like, you know, Kaysen's up there. So, you know, Meg's about to come, you know, introduce herself because she wants, she, she just seen the video. So she wants to, you know, talk to Kaysen and, you know, let him know, like, hey, you're performing. So she's about to walk up here and she's about to talk to Kaysen. And she's going to let him know, like, What's up, Kaysen? Like, what's going on? And so he's just like, hey, man. She's just like, look, I know you can do a mean hair. I'm going to need you to do my hair, like, the night of. And he's just like, yeah, if you want me to, I can. Just let me know. And he, she's just like, of course I want you to do my hair. I guess I'm never keeping up with the bills. Anyways, but she's just like, you know, I see your work. I see your music video. I know you can see you're going to be performing when we... When we have this event, he's already angry about a uh, certain situation, y'all. I'm sorry. So she's just like, Will you be able to perform? And she's just like, You know, I really want you to perform. You have an amazing voice. You can sing your tail off. And he's just like, Megan, of course, for you, I would definitely do that. She's just like, Yeah, you know, I want you to do my hair, of course. I knew she was going to ask me to do her hair. I mean, it's Meg. Like, her hair look good now. I don't know who her stylist is, but look, shout out to you, girl. Or. You know, boy, because let me tell you, you are eating the girls up because she looks really good. But if, you know, she asked me to do her hair and I'm just like, ah, I could do it. I mean, don't if I don't know. Hopefully you perform last because I'll go up in that dressing room and get you right, girl. But yeah, I would definitely do your hair like, hello, you know, come to Kaysen. You know, Kaysen is the best. You feel me? Everybody know what I would be K do, you know? But she got me nervous. She giving me these, you know, positive pep talks. And I don't know, man. I, I'm scared because there's going to be a lot of people here. Because yes, I don't yeah. want nobody touching my head but you. But she's just like, you know, on top of that, I, I want you to sore. definitely, you know, I want you to come up here and perform. I want you to bring your A game. And he's just like, for sure, I'm definitely going to do that. So she's just like, all right, cool. So I'm going to let Corey know what's going on. Uh, I'm glad y'all came to my performance. You know, my well, not my performance, but I'm glad y'all came to my rehearsal. Y'all make sure y'all get home safe because, you know, I want to, you know, just let tell Corey to let me know when y'all get home. And so Kaysen's like, 
you know, will do. Thank you so much for allowing us to, you know, come see you in your element. And he, she's just like, you know, no problem. I ain't tripping on it. Thank you for, you know, coming. Everybody's just kind of in here getting drinks and stuff. And they're actually about to go home. They all got to pee. It's a lot going on. Like, you know, Meg talked to who she needed to talk to. And that's all that matters. So... You know, they're all excited. Well, I know Kaysen and Cortez is. So they're definitely about to go home and try to, you know, brainstorm some stuff because... Thank you, Megan, for, like, inviting us out. I feel like the boys had a great experience, especially Kaysen and Cortez. Like, they were, like, at all when she was performing. So definitely, um, when we get home, probably in the morning time... We're gonna, I'm gonna take them to the recording studio because now I'm ready to get to work because now you to put me to a task. They really want to, you know, impress everybody because this is going to be their first performance. Um, Court says he, you know, he's, he needs to get in the booth. He needs to see exactly what level of rap he has. So it's just like, you know, he needs to make sure, you know, he got his ducks in a row. Because he's going to be performing in front of Nicki Minaj. Like, the Nicki Minaj. So, it's just like, we need to make sure we bring our A game if we about to perform in front of greatness, right? So, why everybody has to pee? I'm so confused. Okay, go pee. So, everybody's going home. The ones that are going home, they're going home. Uh, some of them do have to stay behind and use the restroom. So, we're going to get them to definitely go do that while everybody else go home. So, once these three in particular get done using the restroom, I'm going to see you guys once they get home. Because now, we got to think of a game plan. With Cortez going to, you know, the studio with... Uh, Casey going to the studio and also with Ricky having to do the podcast he's gonna be you know like seeing people interview different people like it's gonna be a it's gonna be a moment y'all it's gonna be really entertaining so that we're definitely here for that so they're about to head home you guys and I'm gonna see you guys once they get home they are tired they're gonna get some rest probably not when they get home it's probably gonna see y'all when they first wake up because I'm, again, really excited about this. You know, you can hear Casey literally walking, talking about, Koi, Koi, I can't believe you're setting this up, Koi. I can't believe you're setting this up. I mean, yeah, I can't believe this is really happening. Like, Meg hit me up out of nowhere, y'all. I promise y'all she did. And, you know, I've been seeing Kaylani and them, and they never told me anything. So, again, Meg is the real OG. Like, shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. I love that girl so freaking much. So, for her to allow my boys to just really go up there and showcase their talent, I'm excited. I know Kaysen is going to, like, nail this. And I know with the help of Meg, Cortez is really going to ace this. So, I'm excited for all that's what's about to happen and transpire. Again, they're extremely tired. They're hungry. They got a lot. Well, not hungry anymore, but they got a lot going on. All their emotions is all over the place. So I'm going to see you guys when they wake up in the morning because by the time they get home, I'm going to be putting them to bed. So, yeah, I'll see y'all when they get home. Well, when they wake up in the morning. Okay, y'all, so it's like 2 in the evening, and the boys are just getting themselves to sleep, and guess who decides to come over? Miss Meg, y'all. Her and Koi are, like, really, really cool in the game. So, you know, she coming over because they need to discuss more about it because Meg, you know, she got a whole team to do it, but, you know, Koi wants to know the lineup of things, who's going to be where, who's this who's that so you know they're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one conversation while the boys are in his sleep so she did text Koi and said hey i'm here Koi is like look go meet me in my office i definitely will be there Koi, i mean it's a big house so Koi didn't know where she was going she all oh, like she drunk so she's like oh girl like you got me walking in this big old this big old place girl where are you so Koi's like, I'm going to use the restroom. Like, hold on. So, she's going to use the restroom. And then, she's going to come up here and just basically get on the computer. And they're going to just talk about some things. Koi's going to be jotting some things down. And, you know, stuff like that. Also, she got to pay the bill because, yeah. But, 
<laughs> Meg's like, all right, I'm here. And she's like, I see you. I'm coming. And she's like, okay, so what's up? Like, what's going on? Like, let's talk about this. And so she's looking at the butler like, how can I help you? Like, what, what's going on, Mr. Ollie? <laughs> Meg is all over the place, y'all. I'm really trying to calm her down, but she's just like, I need your help, Corey. And I'm like, girl, what's going on? She's just like, look, I feel like this is going to be so much. It's going to be so overwhelmed. I need some help with this. And I'm like, okay, so what do you want to do? Like, what is the theme? What is the name? What do you want to talk about? Like, she literally came to the villa just to talk about this. So I'm just like, okay, Meg, let's go ahead and have this. Let's, you know, let's get this out the way. <laughs> so she's like, girl, ignore him. He just came up in here oh, because he saw me up yeah. in here. Like, oh. yeah. So she's just like, okay, so how did you feel about my performance with my rehearsal? And she's just like, first of all, I just want to say I did enjoy it. I'm sorry I couldn't fully stay. And she's just like, girl, that's fine. I'm not tripping on it. She's just like, look, so I really want Kaysen to perform, and I really want Cortez to perform, too. Like, how can we make that happen? She's just like, girl. I mean, Meg, your wish is my command. <laughs> You're getting the boys. They're going to perform. I just really have to go into the studio and really get to work. Like, this is a, a, a strategic task that you're asking. I know Kaysen is going to blow, but I'm going to need help with Cortez. I'm a rapper, don't get me wrong, but, I mean, look, you got it too. So, how about you help me with this? I'm going to have to really get it's with Cortez into crazy. the booth because <laughs> I haven't really heard him rap. Because every time I did, you know, he would always, you know avoid the situation <laughs> so she's just like okay Who so well, do you need me to be <laughs> in the booth with him or something she's just like nah i don't think it'll be that but she's just like you know maybe you could be there to kind of just watch she's like girl i'm not i ain't gonna do nothing but make him a, a little bit more nervous and she's just like nah it probably ain't even gonna be like that she's just like i don't want to be up in there and i don't want to make him feel uncomfortable because you know me you know i you know my presence sometimes makes somebody uncomfortable she's just like no meg you probably you probably gonna by any means necessary you gonna Yanka, boost him you know boost him up and so she's just like okay well just let me know when y'all go into the recording studio with specifically him and then you know i just pull up and she's just like for real she's like yo so when y'all trying to go she's like you know i think i'm gonna go ahead and go today once the boys fully wake up i think we're gonna go ahead and go oh my god hold on y'all because i specifically told this pink-headed individual to come like Who's in his bed? Hello? That's your bed. Why are you not going to it? Hello? Anyways. So, she just like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him. And where are you going? Hello? Are you leaving? Oh, I guess she was leaving. So, she's just like, so what, you know, let me know what time and I'll pull up. But we can leave from here now. She's like, girl, you know them boys is knocked out since we left your rehearsal. She's like, girl, you lying. She's like, no, I'm being so serious. Like, man, when they got back, they all, like, ate and stuff and they went straight to sleep. She's just like, girl, it was not that serious. She's like, yeah, they tired. She's like, okay, but, I mean, sometimes life gonna be like that when you become a superstar, you know? So they gotta be more yeah, careful. But, but she's like, man, let me tell you what's really going on. That? She's like, what? She's oh. like, okay, so you know Chris, you're not gonna be there, right? She's like, I am very upset with Megan because she's just like, girl, you know me and that girl is not at terms right now. And then Blueface is gonna be there. Like, come on, Meg, like... You know he be trying to, like, creep on the side and come talk to me. I don't want to deal with Blueface at all. I don't even want to look his way. Like, I just want him to stay in his side. I say on my side because I really don't want to have to fight Krishan at all. Like, I am not in the mood. And by her telling me this, I am just really annoyed. Sure. Meg, she's like, okay, look, don't be mad at me. Uh, She called me the other day, and she was like, you know... I heard you doing this, and I want to be there. And, uh -huh. you know, I couldn't tell her no. She's yeah. like, you could have told her no. Meg, you supposed to be my friend, dude. She's like, I am your friend, yeah, but so I got to make sure all Beautiful the celebrities there to perform. Like, you can't get mad at me, Koi. Like, I'm basically networking. You. you know I ain't really cool We're with that girl like that. She's just like, <laughs> all right. If, you know, she come at me crazy, <laughs> Meg, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> like... She's like, fool, I got you. Like, don't even stress that out. Like, the girl ain't gonna come at you crazy, you know, 
she should know what's going on. She should know what's up. Like, she contacted me. And she know that you and me cool, Koi. So why would she Fly come any type of way? She's like, I know, <laughs> oh, but you yeah. know how she is blah, when it blah, comes blah, to Blueface. And blah, then y'all know blah, he, blah, blah, blah. you know, he be coming, like, he be talking <laughs> to me. He be trying to get with me. And she's just like, look, none of that is going to happen. If it does happen, let me know, oh, Koi. Do blah. not act crazy. Blah, Don't blah. fight. Because if you fight, that means I'm going to have to fight. I trust Megan. I love Megan. I know she's not doing anything to hurt me. I mean, the girl has my whole heart. I love her. Like, that's my best friend. But I just, I don't support this decision to have Krishana Blueface there. Like, what is he even there for? He's a one-hit wonder. Like, let's go, Tatiana. Like, nobody wants to hear that. Like, ugh, I guess. She's just like, bro, I don't want none of this to happen. Ooh, like, I'm really mad that, you know, you invited her. She's just like, Koi, I got you. Just don't worry about it, dude. Like, I got you, okay? She's like, ugh. All right, Meg, all right. She's like, look, I'm about to go. I just came in to check on you. Just, uh, you know, for us to jot some things down. And, yeah, I'm going to see you, love. She's just like, okay, just let me know when you get home safe. She's like, for sure, I'm going to let you know. And what I told you, don't don't overthink this and don't get too crazy. She's like, bro, I'm not. But I'm about to go to the, uh, when they get up, I'll make sure I'll let you know they're going to be at the studio. She's like, for sure, love you, babe. She's like, I love you too. So she's coming up here. She's about to get her something to eat. We discussed a couple things. Um, we sat down. We had a good talk about the lineup, who's going to be there. I really can't wait for this because the house is going to be packed with people. And the celebrity's about to be booming, y'all. I cannot wait. So, I'm about to go ahead and pull the guys that I need. And we're about to go ahead to the recording studio. And we're about to go ahead and record this song. Um, well, we don't even know what the song is. <laughs> I mean, we're just waiting on Byron. Once Byron makes the instrumental, I mean, we can just really go from there. I mean, musical geniuses, right? And take a shower, of course. She might take a little nap because, you know, it is a little late. The boys are, like, really sleeping in, y'all. Like, they sleep schedule is out of whack. Ever since they went to that stuff, they sleep schedule is horrible. Mm. So, the only two she's going to wake up is Casey and Cortez because that's the only two that <laughs> she will basically need today. Well, actually, she'll need Byron, too. And she might need um she might need Cody because Cody mm. wants to sit and watch. So the other boys can Ooh, stay. Um huh. they really don't have to go, which I mean it's fine and all. So yeah, she gonna definitely get them mm. up. So she didn't text them, she's like, Hey, get up. Um, we're gonna go to the studio. I wanna, you know, Take us to the studio so we could go and mix some things up so we can get a song ready at least for y'all to perform. Well, the main two. Well, not the main two, but for, you know, these two to perform. Or if anybody else want to get up there and do something, they can. In case I'm like, all right, I'm up now. Let's go. So, we're taking Cody, Byron, um, Casey, and Cortez. So she's just like, all right, everybody up. Let's go ahead and go. I'm excited because it's just like, now she like, hey, I need Casey and Cortez to the front. Byron, I need you to and Cody. We about to go to the recording studio. So that means we ain't going to have all that distraction. That means Messiah can stay here and mind his business. Like, I'm excited because now we're really getting down to the nitty gritty, y'all. Like, we about to really get in our bag with this. I'm, man, I'm excited. Like, here I come, man. Y'all about to hear me. So, you guys, we are about to go to the recording studio. And they about to make some magic happy, y'all. They about to... You know, go ahead and where did I put that record studio? Oh, I know where that. They about to go ahead and go make some magic. We about to see what we can come up with, what we can concoct. Because Megan didn't put a weight on this baby. So, of course, I'm going to see y'all once we get to the recording studio. Okay, y'all. So, we are at the recording studio. Uh, we about to go ahead and get this thing going. So, Koi's about to come up in here. And she's like, all right, we need to get to the nitty gritty now. So... She's about to come in here and definitely start, you know, getting him in the booth. Um, she's like, all right, Cody, I'm about to, you know, you're about to help me with this. So, come on, let's go ahead and get in here. She's like, um, 
go ahead and come in here and sing for me Kaysen. um byron if you want you could go into one of the other studios and i need you to start making beats for me he's like will do so he's about to go ahead and go into this area and he's about to go make one and we're actually i think we should call meg over to kind of you know listen to him rap a little bit to kind of see where his head is so so i gave cortez meg's number and i was like hey you need to go ahead and call her and let her know that we're here because i didn't got to work y'all i done went in the lab i'm like all right case let's get on here let's hear you sing something you know let me get you to you know let me get some stuff together i didn't got cody sitting down with me so i gave him meg the stallion's number and i told him go ahead and call her and let her know that you're here and i told byron go ahead and make the instrumentals because we ready uh we definitely about to call meg over um yeah, he's about to call Meg, and, you know, Coy was like, go ahead and call Meg because she really wants to come and work with you. So, you know, he's calling Meg, and he's just like, hey, Meg, are you here? And she's just like, no, what's up, are y'all there? And he's just like, yeah, uh, Coy told me to call you. And she's like, all right, bet I'll be there. So now he's just waiting on Meg to arrive because, you know, now we about to get straight down to business. As you can see, Byron is up in here. He's mixing up a song, and so... He's just like, okay, I'm going to get y'all a beat and let me see if y'all could, you know, perform to it. And so, you know, it's it's about to go down, y'all. I didn't know this food truck was actually usable. That's crazy. I didn't know because I was going to use it. So, y'all, Meg is here. And, of course, she is, you know, about to come and get with him. So, she's about to come meet Cortez. So, I called Meg, and I was like, Meg, I need you to come on. We already here. She was like, yeah, I'm on my way, baby. So, she immediately pulled up, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this about to be good. So, she's like, okay, let's go into the other place, well, the other side. And I'm about to mentor you, baby, because you about to be the flies, slick-talking, mf -er in here. And I'm ready. Cortez, stop. Get out of here. So, she's about to, uh, he's about to come talk to... About to come talk to Meg, and he's just like, okay, you're here finally. So, she's like, heck yeah, like, come on, like, let, let, you know, let me put you in a booth and let me see what you could do. So, it's it's going under singing, y'all, but he's a rapper, so don't excuse his singing. He's not a singer, y'all. He is a rapper, so don't be like, oh my God, he can't sing. I just, that's something we have to put him under. So, she's just like, all right, come on, let's go ahead and put you in a booth. Let's go ahead and go. Like, let's go ahead and spin something. You feel me? So, he's just like, okay, for real. Let's go. So, they having a conversation in here. Koi. So, I'm sitting there and an instrumental literally popped up in my head. And I put down the bass. I put down the drums. And as soon as everything started colliding, Man, y'all, I can't wait for y'all to hear this, y'all. It sound good in the mug, I swear, man. I can hear, like, I can't hear all of it, but I can hear some of what Byron is playing. And guys, when I say, I'm shocked that he that he did something like that. Like, where did you get all those sound effects from? Like, I'm not into those instrumentals or anything. I'm just, you know, a songwriter, a producer, but, you know... I can get to know some stuff like that. I can learn something from Byron because what he was doing up in there, it was a masterpiece, guys. I just, Coy, I just know not. Every time you done came somewhere, you've been smelling like stale feet. And I don't know what's going on and why you be smelling like this, but I need you to stop smelling like that. So, look, production. <laughs> I know y'all be... In here clowning and, you know, be saying and catching the most craziest stuff. But what we're not going to do is that. Y'all know I did not intentionally come on here to smell weird. And I don't want y'all portraying it to the world that I was coming on here smelling weird. So before Koi, you sit there and say, oh, Koi smells weird. I did not come on this platform to, to smell you. weird, okay? Now, you know Again, better, I had a long come day. There's been a lot going on. <laughs> and I just forgot to shower. Yourself, like, so God, don't what come do y'all want me to do? I didn't put the odor on, but I guess it's seeping out of the clothes. Like, what do y'all want me to do? Anyways, like I was saying, so they up in here talking about the producer, and putting his, you know, his voice to the thing, testing it out, just, you know, listening to him, trying to make sure everything sounds good. Then you have 
Oh God, you have Cortez over here, my God. <laughs> Meg's like, oh my God, we got so much work to do. But, you know, this is gonna be their first song. And look, he looking, like he looking and everything, so. Okay, so I did tell y'all I'm not the best rapper, okay? I need a little skill. I need a little help. You know, I, I rap like, you know, I do a little freestyle every now and then. But when I started rapping, it was like Meg looked at me and she shook her head. So I felt so embarrassed. But, you know, she did come up in there and help me and, you know, mentor me and, you know, show me a little bit of something, you know? It, it's a lot, y'all. They they get in the business now. What is going on? Hello? No, come right here. What are you doing, Meg? Anyways, so... Girl, y'all about to come get me copyrighted. Hello? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, I heard that song from somewhere. Where is it? No, put it real low if you're going to play it. Hello? Like, you trying to get me copyright, sweetheart. Okay, so anyway, so they're in here listening to music and then also just kind of listening to him or whatever. You got Byron up in here. He got the he got the turntables on, y'all. He is, like, really into this. He making a beat, y'all. So this is going to be the beat maker. This is the one who's going to put the, the you know, the the background music in the back. So he he's showing his pride. He's showing his talents. Y'all, I am so happy for this. So, he's getting it. Like, he really into the beat. He making sure everything oh. sound good. He's basically about to be the producer of this track right here. Um, Cody is going to, you know, be the writer. So, she's just like, so what you thinking? He was like, I don't know. I, I mean, whatever Byron brings us, you know, we just going to have to deal with it. So... I just got to tweak some more of the instrumental to make sure that it sounds good. But right now, y'all, it sounds really amazing. And I'm about to go ahead in the few and just text Corey and be like, hey, this is the instrumental. I didn't plug my USB in there because, you know, I always carry an extra USB with me at all times. I'm definitely about to, you know, send it to him and we about to see what happens. They just like, yeah, for sure. I feel like it's going to be a smash, whatever it is, because... Y'all hear Kaysen. Kaysen could blow. He's like, I feel like it's going to be good. I'm going to just have to really go home and focus on the words. So, Byron, look at him, y'all. Byron is really up in here getting it. He's just like, yeah, I feel like this is going to be a hit. So, Meg is up in there. Y'all see her? She working with Cortez. She she got money on her mind. She feel like, all right, this is about to be a hit. I'm definitely not about to go over there and listen, but... She, you know, he about to go ahead and text Koi and be like, this is the song we got. Uh, I'm still, you know, working on it or whatever, but this is the song right here. So, yeah, he sent them a text and he just like, hey, I got the song. Like, go ahead and plug it in. So, Koi just, you know, she got the download on the thing and she just like, all right, Casey, I got the song. So, Byron texts me, and he's just like, hey, I got the song. Well, not the song. I got the instrumental. You need to go ahead and listen to it. So, I'm like, oh, snap. That was quick. Like, y'all, he was quick on his feet. So, I instantly was like, okay. So, I plugged it in. And when I say it sounds good, oh, yeah. I cannot wait for y'all to hear this. Let's go ahead, and I need you to I need you to start. And she, he just like, oh, word. He just like, all right, bet. <laughs> So she just like, go ahead. We going to get you to sing to this. So he, Corey's looking at, uh, not Cortez, at Cody. And she's just like, okay, give him some words. And he's like, okay, so here we go. I ain't going to let y'all hear the song, but they working on it, okay? And so the text message got sent over to Meg. And she just like, all right, let me go ahead and put it on. And so she's just like. So I get a very screeching noise from the outside of the recording room and it's meg and she's just like we got the song we about to go ahead and play it and i'm like wait the song she's like yeah the instrumental and i'm like oh snap byron works fast like that okay i'm ready to hear this peep this because this is the song that you're gonna be rapping to you ain't got much to say so i need you to be on it so he's just like all right that's the bit so, Byron on it, man. Byron not playing. He up in here making sure, you know, the rest of it sound good. Koi text back and was like, this is the go. We on it right now. So, for sure, like, they getting into it. So, 
I really like this for them. Like, seriously. Like, for real, for real. So, I finally put the final touches to the instrumental. I put all what I could in here. And I I think it came out pretty good, y'all. It really came out really good, really swell. I like it. Hopefully, y'all like it. <sighs> I'm really happy about this. Like, Koi, you, you really doing your big one, man. Like... This makes me really happy, y'all. I'm so for real. So, the other boys are at home. And, you know, Ricky, he wants to have a one-on-one -on -one with Messiah. Because he just feels like as though, you know, they have... They are on bad terms. But this is somebody he really looked up... Not looked up to, but this is somebody he had liked at one point. So... He's just like, you know what, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for me to have a one-on-one -on -one with Messiah. And, you know, just see where we are as far as, you know, hopefully, you know, we can come to a better mutual common ground. And, you know, not be so amped up with each other. Like, he feel as though that, you know, he probably did come off a little bit too strong. And y'all was eating his sass up when y'all were talking about him. Like, literally, you know, he is not a fan favorite because he be picky. I mean, a couple of people like Ricky, but then a couple of people like, nah, we don't really like Ricky because he dragging on the oh, situation that ain't got nothing to do with him. So I feel that it is appropriated that me and Mr. Messiah have a conversation. Um, we've been avoiding each other for the past couple days. And I just feel like, you know, maybe I was overreacting. Maybe I do need to talk to him. So I'm just coming in here with a kind heart and an open mind just to hear him out, you know? So he's coming to talk to Messiah and, yeah, you know, son. he basically like, look... I really want to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. Wow. Messiah's like, I don't want to hear it. And he's just like, no, seriously, Messiah. Can I, like, really talk to you on a one-on-one -on -one basis? And he's just like, what, Ricky? I mean, I don't even know why Ricky even coming up in here talking to me. Like, Sigga, leave me alone. Like, you been tarnishing my name all in this house when we go out. So why should I feel comfortable with even, you know, being accepting your apology or just wanting you to talk to me i don't care Sigur. at the end of the day we're not cool and i don't want to talk to you in the discussion what could you possibly Vanilla. want Vanilla. he just like look hear me out i want you to oh, really yeah. hear me out he like no because every time i hear you out you want to argue with me and he's just like no it's nothing like that like i'm not here to argue with you i'm really here to talk to you like i really am he's like no like we once you once day. you did what you did, I don't know if you, I, I don't know if I want to forgive you. Absolutely. And he's just like, can you please not act like that? He's like, no. So he's just like, all right, what you want to do? You want to you want to settle out our differences? Let's talk about it then. You be coming at me crazy because you like you said you was the first one who liked me, but you should have hopped on it then. He's just like, this could have all been settled if you wanted to be with me. You could have been with me, Ricky. Like you making this hard on yourself. And he's just like, I didn't come down here for all that. Once again, it's a situation and he wants to yell. He wants to argue. He's saying that I'm just mad because I want him. And I'm just, I came down here to just, you know, talk. And he wants to raise his voice. So it's just like, whatever, Messiah. I guess we will never squash our beef. Exactly. You didn't come down here for all that. You wanted to, you, are you trying to make amends with somebody? I don't want to make amends with you. Like, we good. So, Ricky is just really a little bit upset. He doesn't know. I'm really aggravated because I really did come in there with an open heart and, like, an open mind. Like, I really want us to not fight all the time and argue. And as soon as I came up in there, y'all, he just really was so angry. And I'm like... I really did something bad for you to be like this with me. Like, I just don't understand. How to feel right now. He's just a little bit all over the place. He really wanted to make amends with him. But, you know, he's just like it is what it is. I'm not even tripping on it. He about to go watch a movie. He's like, whatever. Like, it's just fine with me. I don't care anymore. Like, I, I went down there to write my dues. And it just seems like he don't want to write the dues with me no more. Messiah's over it. He's sure. just like, you know, I'm I'm completely over your bull crap. I don't even care to know your bull crap anymore. Like you are basically, you know At the end of the day, 
I don't really want to talk to Ricky. I don't. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to be in the same facility as him. I don't want to have nothing to do with him. And I'm definitely going to let Corey know whenever she get home or whenever she get done resting, I'm going to let her know. I don't want to deal with this sicker no more. Like, at this point, now that he been tarnishing my name, he needs to get out the house. And Corey needs to let that be known. And Corey needs to kick him out because I'm done. You the dummy dirty love. Like, I don't, I don't associate myself She's with so people dumb. like that. So it is Corey. what it is. So... <laughs> they didn't have their little tip for sale, but I'm about to go and check on everybody else, y'all. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all. Yeah. So, oh my God. So it's one o'clock. Meg must have dipped. They didn't create a greatness, y'all. Greatness is already created, baby. So Meg is at her house. So they created greatness, you guys. They got the song prepared and ready. And so Koi is, you know, really excited. She's just like. Meg, let me hear what you did, and it sounds good. So now we just got to put it all together, me and Cody. And you know, it's about to be, it's about to be a vibe. So, oh, look. I'm really excited for this. Um, I we finally got to hear all of it, and y'all, it sounds so good. I really want you know, Kaysen and Cortez to like put their verse together, probably rewrite it a little bit, but it sounds really good. I mean. Cortez did his thing, and y'all know Casey did his thing, so if they collab on this song, it'll be, like, really phenomenal. Man, hear me out. When I say Byron really put his foot in this song, he really put his foot in this song. Like, the instrumental is fire. I ain't never heard nobody come with an instrumental like this. And Cody, y'all, Cody is a true songwriter. Like, y'all y'all need to put him up there with Neo. Like, Jamie Foxx, like... He's legit. Like, when I say when the beat came on, you can hear him over there humming a little bit. I mean, he, he could sing, too. Y'all didn't know Cody could sing. He was humming a little bit. And so we put our brain, we brainstormed together. Koi put her input in it. And when I say it sounds so good, I cannot wait to perform this, y'all. I feel like the crowd is going to go crazy. All right, okay. Uh, Y'all didn't hear that music. Good Lord. I forgot I got other music in here so yeah y'all might hear a song or two that y'all know but yeah so who is this <laughs> who he fine who is he hey mr colin but yeah they ready to go um koi and byron and them about to go home uh, Kaysen that came down here and talked to Megan. Okay, y'all gonna have to change this song because in order for me to come in here, y'all cannot play this song. Next song. Okay, y'all, it didn't freeze on me. I was terrified for my life. So, he coming down here to talk to Meg and he's just like, it is a honor to know who you are, Meg. And she's just like, of course, Kaysen, she's just like, you need to, you know, you your name needs to be more out there than what it is. Like, what made you want to be on the Bad Boys Club? And he's just like, man, look, Meg, I want to be more than hair. I know all the celebrities, well, some of them. I know all the celebrities out here. And it's just like, they know me for doing hair, but I can sing too, Meg. And she's just like, oh, baby, I know you can see. To have this moment with Meg, it felt really special. Like, she really told me some crazy stuff, but then she told me some factual stuff, and she was honest with me. Like, I appreciate the positive words coming from Megan, and it just really makes me feel, it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel hopeful. It makes me feel like, you know, man, it made me really feel like some something really going to pop off. Like, I'm really going to get far in my career, and I appreciate her for, like, really sitting down with me and being honest and real with me. You ain't got to tell me nothing. I know you, you can blow. So she just like, definitely want you to showcase yourself when we, you know, when I have this event for sure. And he's it's just like, I, I appreciate that. She's just like, no problem. I need you to make sure you showcase yourself. I need you to also make sure you get Cortez in line too, because I want to see how he, you know, I saw how he sound. And Cortez can rap y'all. Like he really can. She's like, Cortez can really rap. And, you know, Can I'd have put him up there with some of the biggest rappers. And when I say he sounds good, 
He sounds really good. So definitely, I need y'all to sit and collab a little bit more because I feel like y'all can do some good things together. You're a singer, he a rapper. Y'all definitely need to collab. And he's just like, man, for sure, definitely could do that. She's like, yeah, y'all need to get that together. I would love to see y'all collab. And she, he, he's happy. He's he loves to hear words like that. Now I didn't hear Cortez half of the song, and if I did. I mean, I know Megan, you know, put her foot in it. But, I mean, for us to collab on this, I mean, if he down, I mean, I'm definitely down to do it. I mean, I feel like we'll, you know, we'll take over the world with the help of Byron and Cody. I mean, shoot, I feel like anything is possible. Coy's going to go ahead and go home as well. Cortez is tired, but he just wants to come down here and thank, you know, Meg for, like, believing in him. He's just like, thank you, Meg. And she's just like, no problem, love. Like, I appreciate, you know, you giving me a chance to, you know, mentor you and help you out. Like, you're really an amazing rapper. Like, don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Like, you're really good. You know, you need a, you just need some more critiquing. But, you know, you sound good other than that. He's just like, really? He's like, you know, she's like, yeah, for sure. You just, you know, need a little bit more critiquing and, you know, you need to really write your words out and say your words are, you know, a little bit more fluently, but you got this. So he's really excited. He's like, okay, that's cool. I just love the fact that Megan really came and, you know, gave me some more encouraging advice. I mean, you know, it's a lot of things I do need to work on, but I really feel like that I got what it takes. Like, you know, put me in the ring. I think I'm ready. Like, I feel like I got this. Lava so Kason is just like Salada. we need to definitely collab with each other and so yes. Kason's like I'm down you like if you down I'm down no, do and so Kason's a little Nelsie upset right now, now but he's Should just like hey go. if you down we could do it Little he's like yeah bones. I'm cool if you want to do it he's just like yeah for sure we yeah. you know we could Walk definitely do it I, yeah. do this thing so he's yeah. just like okay so what you you want to collab on this song that he was like we can did you put your uh verse to it he like yeah i did he's Why like all right i done sung the chorus and everything Big and so he just like for sure we could go ahead and do that so we can let Corey know when we get home so uh, y'all i'm so sorry my game is doing this crazy stuff I feel like we would collab real good like i feel like cortez he got what it takes and you know I mean, I'm just a newcomer in this, too. Despite of me doing, you know, the music video and everything, I don't mind collabing with him. Like, if you really want to do this, Cortez, let's do this. Like, let's put our heads together. Let's put our brains together. Let's brainstorm. Let's get Byron and Cody in the mix. And I feel like we could really do this. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited to perform this. Cortez said he down, so I'm just like, shoot, it is what it is. We'll go back in the booth and we could redo everything. I'll definitely let Corey know, like, yo, we, we going to go ahead and do this together. I feel like that would be an amazing thing to do. Like, hear me out. Kaysen and then me doing a song together? Oh, yeah. I know. It's going to be a bop. Sure. Sure. Yes. Kaysen, sign me up. Let's go tell Koi first thing in the morning. I'm excited about this, y'all. Like, seriously. Okay, y'all. Kaysen <laughs> that made it back. Well, all the boys that made it back. And he's about to go try to find Koi because... He wants to tell Koi about the idea of them, you know, of him putting his verse on there. If he needs to go back and record it, he definitely can. First of all, where is Koi? Hello? Okay, I found her. So, he about to come up here and talk to her. He's about to be like, hey, look. Uh, me and Cortez and talked and, you know, we basically, you know, that song we're going to go ahead and do. It. He going to, you know, put a verse on there. And we're just going to do it like that. And so, you know, she's excited. You know, she's going to be excited, of course. Because the the beat that was produced, it sounds so good. Like, Byron did that. Like, he extremely did that. Now, again, I don't know for the other guys of what they want to do. What are you doing? But it's just like, you know, hey, it is what it is. Like, you know, do what you want to do. I don't know. But hopefully it comes all together because it definitely sounds good. All right, you guys. So that's actually going to be the end of this episode. Um, the guys ain't really doing much this episode. They really trying to get into, like, getting themselves 
into a bag. So they didn't do that much fighting. Yeah, they had a little tit for tat or, you know, had a little argument or something like that. Again, ain't no telling what they're going to say in these confessionals because, baby, <laughs> it be a different scenario once they get in that. they confessional and they be talking. But that's going to be it, you guys. I didn't have so much fun with this and I can't wait for the next future episodes because... It's about to be some, it's about to be some drama, y'all. It's about to be some drama. It's about to be some more drama. Like, it's just about to be really crazy. So, I just wanted them, you know, Koi just really wanted them to go meet Meg. And for them to, well, not meet Meg. Meg called her and stuff like that. And, you know, they had a conversation. And now, you know, they're about to hopefully perform well the ones that can perform perform you never know like the rest of them probably could be backup dancers or i know like for cortez and for cody like cody's gonna be the one writing the songs and well he didn't already wrote the song so you know he's gonna get his credit at the end of the day so it's just like you know i'm excited for what's gonna happen the song sounds amazing y'all Everything sounds good. I can't wait till all of it comes together so y'all can see Kaysen and Cortez perform. I can't wait for y'all to see Ricky at the podcast station. Like, y'all can't wait for all of this. But she, you know, Meg, Meg is excited. So hopefully they got a couple episodes until it's time for them to perform. So y'all, I'm excited. Hopefully they don't do nothing to jeopardize them from performing. So hopefully 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 but that's gonna be it you guys make sure y'all hit the like and subscribe button so you can be a part of the chunky family also hit the notification button so you can get what i am posting i love you guys so much and i will see you guys on the next episode of oh my bad on the next episode of bad boys club bye guys Just say all right.